I've been told my whole life you'll never be nothing simply because of the way you talk. But I ain't never let that stop me. When I first got on TV at NBC seven years ago, they sent a, a linguist. So the woman comes in my office and she says, are we ready to begin? And I said, excuse me, ma'am, who are you? She said, NBC is of the understanding in order for you to be successful on daytime TV, you're gonna have to learn how to speak more eloquently. Oh, I said, I ain't finna do all that there. She said, say what you just said to me again slowly. I said, I ain't finna do all that there. She said, that's exactly why I'm here. I said, yeah, but that's, I talk just like this here. What's the problem? She said, if you don't learn how to speak more properly, you'll never be successful. I said, who told you that? You walked into my office. I'm already on TV. Now I've made it to this point without you. I don't know how you figure I ain't gonna get the rest of the way without you. She says, listen to me. If you don't learn how to speak better, you'll be off TV. I said, which one of these sound best to you? I am broke or I'm is rich? Because I'm is rich. Are you under the shade of what someone spoke over you? Told you what you couldn't do? Now that shade is limiting your life? Do you have friends that are blocking your growth? What could you become if you got out from under that shade? Remove what's blocking your growth and you'll begin to blossom. I think the biggest vulnerability you've got is you actually value somebody's opinion more than you value your own. Those people that you're so terrified of their opinion of you, those people are not the ones who will live with the regret. Those other people are not going to be there when it sucks and it's hard for you. The biggest struggle for me was my family, man. The people closest to me was the biggest struggle. Every time I went out to do another deal, everybody told me, you don't need to do that, man. So the point, you got fuel in your tank, and then you got somebody in the back seat saying, hey, be careful. They're putting mental pressure on the brakes when you're trying to accelerate. If they're rooting against you and they really just want to see you lose, they're pretending to be concerned, then this is something that you just completely eliminate from your life. There's always some reason to be down on ourselves. You have to put your foot down and say, no thanks, I'm not living under that shade. Get your passion back. Start believing again. Start dreaming again. One thing that can easily stunt our growth is the people that we're spending time with. Are they making your life better? Or are they causing you to compromise? Take the easy way out? If you want to know what you're going to be like in five years, look at your friends. I know you love your friends, but your destiny is too great. You need people that bring out the best in you, that challenge you to live a life of excellence and integrity. And too often, we don't realize who we are. We're letting negative voices convince us that we're limited. See, I'm done letting fear and can't do it thoughts dictate my life. Where you are is not your destiny. You can come out of the fear and step in to who you were created to be, a history maker. Anytime we try to move forward, there are people telling us what we can't do. No, quit letting people talk you out of your dreams. It may not have happened for them, but you're a mighty hero. It's gonna happen for you. God's favor is on your life in a new way. He's called you to set the new standard, to take your family to a new level. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible. And here's what I will share with you that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of pain, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. 
what you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine that you don't have to go through life being a victim i was born in miami florida in an area called liberty city with my twin brother when i was in fifth grade i was identified as emr labeled educable mentally retarded and stayed in that category until i got out of high school but I met a high school teacher who one day changed my life. I was waiting on another student. When he came in, he said to me, young man, go to the board and write what I'm about to tell you. I said, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? Because I'm educable, mentally retarded. He said, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. And ladies and gentlemen, I started working on my dream. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? One is because of fear. What if things don't work out? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop pushing themselves and they end up becoming very cynical about life and they throw in the towel on themselves and on their dreams. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago, but because I didn't believe in myself, because I allowed other people's opinion of me to control my destiny, I didn't act on my ideas. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything, people who are not challenging themselves, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people who are hungry, People who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't have the vision, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation. You have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself by being one of those individuals that keep your commitments, that keep your word, that's relentless. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. You must understand that. Yes, it's possible that you can choose your future and direct the course of your life. It's necessary that you have goals, that you write those goals down, that you plan. It's also necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated. But the next thing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to run toward my dream. That one day, I would have my own talk show. No college training, labeled educable, mentally retarded. But I kept running toward my dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running toward your dream. As you hold on to that dream, there are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. It was hard laying on the floor of the Penobscot building, looking out of the window, daydreaming. I used to ask myself, can I do this? And something said within me, you're the one. You're the one. Promise yourself you'll read the books until your skills change. You'll listen to it until it makes sense. Never give up until, however long that is. Step by step, piece by piece, book by book, go for it. Don't miss the chance to grow. Then you'll discover some of life's best treasures when you pay that 